My advice to anyone who is wanting to be a life coach or who's wanting to guide people spiritually or emotionally, because I speak to a lot of clients who want to do the type of work that I do. I'm an intuitive life coach. It's a little different. But if you want to do this kind of work where you inspire people and you empower people, you have to be very mindful of the words that you use. This is something that I've learned throughout the years because the words that you use are gonna connect you to a very specific audience. They're going to dictate your audience in many ways. So let's use an example. If you're always using the word God, nothing wrong with that, but if you're always using the word God, you're primarily going to appeal to a religious audience. And then you're going to exclude so many people who may not believe in God or who have a different idea of God. And so right there, you've limited your audience. You understand? If, for instance, you're always using the word universe, I happen to like that word because it's rather neutral, but I've been working on using it less frequently, and I'll tell you why in a second. But if you're always using the word universe, then you're predominantly going to appeal to a spiritual crowd you could say that you're gonna pigeonhole yourself and then you're gonna exclude people who love God, right? So this is where it gets a little complicated. You have to learn how to simplify. You have to learn how to speak from personal experience, okay? So an example of this would be, uh, let go and trust that the universe is gonna work it out for you. Nothing wrong with that. But if you say, let go and trust that it's gonna work out, it's a lot more general. So it's a lot. I know it's a little nuanced, but it makes a difference. Believe me when I tell you, that makes a difference. What you don't want to do when you're coaching people is have crutches. I used the word universe a lot of times, but it almost felt like a crutch. I didn't know what other word to grab in that moment. And I'm like, oh, the universe is guiding me to do this, or God told me to do that. Again, nothing wrong with it, but ask yourself, is it a crutch in that moment? Like, where are you really going in the moment that you say, God told me to do this? Where are you really going? Have you just left the chat room? This is important because a lot of times we use words because we're afraid to be judged by others. You don't want that to be your audience, okay? So learn how to simplify. Speak from a place that's more integrated, from a place of experience. This is probably the most challenging thing you'll do is to become more relatable by not having crutches. And then you'll be able to reach people all over the world, in India, in Australia, in China, in Japan. People will understand your language because you're not pigeonholing yourself. I hope that helps you.